Okay, scallywags, here we go. Time to pull the engine on King's Pride. A couple hundred trips up the staircase and tipping the Dodger forward, and we thought we had it ready. Got our forklift pole in the companionway there. Art's pretty happy. Tried getting a motor mount off, and there was just no way. It was seized in. Kind of like that old coupling right there. So Art had went in and uh, back in the hole and said, well, it's the only way this thing's coming apart. We need to get it out where we can work on it. So he cut the propeller shaft off, of course disconnected the fuel and took the oil out and the electrical and all the bits, which is really good. And then um, the trouble was we had to come forward and kind of around in a U before we could go up and out that companionway. So we have that forward come along to, to make sure the engine kind of made that nice little arc, which was great until we ran out of chain. We couldn't release it far enough and it still needed to go another couple feet. So with a second come along, we managed to get it back and hanging free on the forklift with our chain fall and it was a slow and steady process but that's what you do when you're working in a in a tight space like this and you got to get a big old heavy engine out of there so now it's hanging on the forks up it goes and we're just being slow and steady we we're using some plywood and some sacrificial pieces because you're gonna see it it just it was pretty snug getting it out the companion way but with most sailboats it's this way you can usually get an engine out without having to uh, carve into it and if you look on the left there, how cool is that? We're going to be able to clean up the electrical and the plumbing, clean that, paint it all up, mock up a new engine. Hopefully we don't have to change any of the mounting. So, But that was a good old Volvo. We're going to be sad to see her go, but thanks for watching.